what's going on there, Curry? I was gonna, I was gonna text you. Text me? Why? I brought up a few of McCartney's. What? The, the, I guess nineties or two thousand McCartney's. Oh really? Where are they? Uh, I think you have them. But I'll show you. Okay, at the record store, they got in a couple of rare Paul McCartney LPs, originals from the UK. They're both UK copies, Cast and Creation in the Backyard and Flaming Pie. I have both of these in shrink wrap already, but uh, the reason I'm interested in these is because I can open them up and I'll be able to have the gatefolds, because I can't open mine because I'm keeping them in the shrink. Now, what's good about it in a way is that since I just want them for the gatefolds, these were in pretty crappy condition. Now, this one in particular. I mean, look at this. You believe how people keep their records? Look at this crap. All over this record. I don't know what. If the guy was eating uh, a macaroni dinner on here or something. Some pasta. You can see that. And uh, I can clean this up. I'm hoping I get this uh, kind of on the cheaper side because of the condition. And it'll be worth it for me. This one's not in great shape either. So... What? No, no, between you guys, even though you don't like it and everything, between you guys, you both take a bit of offense to me the way I smell and am and everything else. That's you when you go near me. So hold on, don't even let him near me. I don't want to go near him the way he stinks and smells and everything. I'm going to do that though. I'm going to take the room off me. I'm going to rent that room in the motel thing, get myself bathed and everything, and then if I still get the problem, I have a new thing put on, but I'll still work. Go. Be nice and clean. Shave every day and go. Oh, I want. I want to start doing that too. You gotta shave every day, Don. Gotta be clean. You know what I want to do? Instead of the razor, this get the heavy stuff off the real razor, and after that, go into the electric razor, and every day just go over it. And here is another package that's arrived. Here, there's Joe over there. This is from uh, Robert Rob Pfeiffer. So I'm really anxious to see what this is, and uh, I have to. Hey, Joe! I'll tell you one thing about this thing. Oh boy, that's, that's a sh one sharp knife there we got going there. Holy cow! I cut myself on it, man. This is the one I used. God, forget about the opening. I got to take care of myself. Okay, let's resume this with a box cutter. Get your blood for this one. I hope it's, hope it's worth it. <laughs> I'm sure it will be. What the heck is this? Thanks so much, Rob. This is amazing, but I'm holding the camera and I can't do much with it. On blue vinyl. Okay, over here we've got limited pressing, number 57 out of 1,000. Overdone Productions, 1985. And this is fantastic with artwork. For the recently released Christmas package. And look at that. All of the messages here on a CD. Which is absolutely crucial when I'm in the car listening to this. Okay, I'm here with Tony. And the Tony, Record Store Day is, is coming up soon. What do you think of Record Store Day? You like it? I avoid it. Really? Why? It brings in uh, the kids. Yeah. You know, it's crowded, and it's, I don't know, just, I just don't like it. You I'd, I'd rather come here in, in the middle of the week when it's nice and quiet. Yeah, yeah. You know, you can browse. But you're not interested in any special releases that they put out on Record no, Store Day? No, Oh, yeah. That's, no. I think, do you think kids you're talking about, do you, think, do you think they're hipsters? Like, they're not really... Is that what they call them nowadays? Like, they're just, just into what some people say. I don't, I don't know if I'd agree, but... Some people think hipsters, but they're just doing it because it's cool or something, you know. Exactly, it's a, it's a, it's a mo, you know, just a fad. All right. Now you wanted to ask me something. Yeah, I wanted to ask you what the fuck is so special about 
record day. Oh, he yeah, just what? brings out these little dweebs, these hipsters. And my friend Corey here rather come down with the clap than be here on record day. <laughs> What's the deal? Well, the first thing in theory is that maybe you'll get something really cool that's different that they yeah, put out. VD. Well, no, you don't get it. You're not going to get nothing on record day. Who are you touching? That's not part of it. And then you also have, like, a rapport with other fans. You get to, like, mix with people and stuff like that. No? You don't no, see. I don't see it. I don't want to mix with no little hipster. Some little kid that can't even blow his nose on his own. They're like teenagers. I mean, they're like 20, 18, 19, 20. They're still wet. What do they know? No. Yeah. What do they know? Christopher Robin. And what's the special deal? What does what Joe or, or anybody, what are they going to do for you on record day that they're not going to do for you the rest of the week or the rest of the year? Well, I don't know. It's also because I have a channel. It's kind of like a news item. Like, hey, the hot new report, record store day coverage. You know what I mean? Every day is record Short day. That's a, that's a good Short thing. Bus. It's a day... For people who love music to get together, chat, commune, buy some exclusive stuff that only 450 pieces are coming out that day that don't come out any other day. Okay? Yeah. It's the largest. But. But. I don't want no, to talk no, about your butt. I'm, <laughs> listen, you anybody? bastard. But I'm helping you here by telling you that something very important that I forgot to say, Tony, was... What's special about it? You support your independent record store. That's right. Okay, That's there you right. go. So for all your what you, wise guy what remarks. Well, you're supporting him. That's true. I've been coming here for I seven years. I him, him and his wife a good dinner or two. Maybe three. To say the least, you put his kids through college? No, no, I won't go that far. <laughs> I mean, I bought some records off the wall. I bought two turntables. But not everybody does. There's Bucky still a Beaver's large population that people... Bucky Beaver's Bucky been coming longer than you. Beaver's who's Bucky, while, who's Bucky Beaver? That's my new name. I'm not I'm not short bus anymore. I call you Tony the Pooh only because you sound like Winnie a little bit. He just said I could take you outside and beat your senses <laughs> for a dollar record. <laughs> outside, though, not outside. inside. Yeah. You know, no blood in the Can we get? It might be worth it if we put it on camera. Let you beat me. So. <laughs> <laughs> it might be worth it. I don't like the way you said that. I think you might like it. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got that Judy Collins. This is pretty good footage. Yeah, you never know what you're going to find in the dollar bin. Yeah, I found a good Count Basie record the other day. I mean... I'll make it look like it's I on. Think I think one, I got one record from Record Store Day. It was Neil Young with uh, Rick James. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, Neil oh, Young, God. yes, with Rick Fine James. Birds. My, yes, you're good. Thank you. He likes yes. Neil Young. Okay. I think it was a limited edition 5,000 copies. Yeah, we got plenty. How many you got about? Five or all? Five. Uh, what's the name of this What's the album you have, Bob? I, I Best don't have any. Best of five. You tell me the name of I can't tell you right now. I'm, I'm busy with the customer. I'm busy with the customer. The fish. Okay, uh, how much are each? Three dollars or what? Yeah, three dollars. Forty-nine ninety-nine. Is that right? How many are you making? No. Oh, five. Forty-nine ninety-nine. What? Paul. 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 Uh -huh. Hey, look who's here, Anthony. Hello, everyone. And uh, look who's here, Ed. Anybody know the King's Court channel? No. No, uh, the King's Court. <laughs> it's about El El I, I believe in promotion. Uh, Anthony has a channel. At, no, well, second thought, you don't have a channel. No. But uh, we're here because uh, picking up a Ringo Soki. Got a little beauty mark on his chin, but other than that, it's not in bad shape. Nice gem from 65. I think I'm Vintage. Gonna, pick this up. I'm also going to pick up this authentic Paul McCartney Remco doll. 64. Except uh, except that the box is faked. It's a fake box, you know. But you, know, you can't have everything. And there's some other stuff here too I'm going to I'm going to pick up. So, where's that going? He's walking. You don't want to hear this Beatle talk. He's going. Bye, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Get Who's there? Who is that? That's Corey. Oh, oh hey. <laughs> it's a story from Corey. Got any stories, Corey? Nice sweater. Nice yeah, zipper sweater. I like that. <laughs> what do you want to know? We're thinking about going for lunch somewhere, but of course, that all depends on where and what people want. And also, in Anthony's case, the price right? also has to be right.
Well, I'll tell you, it's play day. I'll spurge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to buy me lunch? No. I was going to give you, a, actually, a free coupon at Jersey oh, Mike's today. Oh, I got something for you, too. I gave you <laughs> yeah, the one that Corey gave me. Yeah, you can have that. I don't need that. Why not? Don't eat it, my friend. Don't eat it. <laughs> Where is that from? Oh, that's the Mooners. <laughs> the Mooners, that's right. They're little little guys. These are Kodak Mooners. <laughs> Wait a what do you got here, Randy? A crazy and a sick magazine. Well, why don't you buy them? I'm thinking of buying I like the sick. I think I'll buy the sick. Okay, well, go ahead. But, $5. Yeah, I don't know. But what's your question? They're in this hard plastic. I don't know if you know. You, he takes them out, or you just buy them like that, and I take it out. And either way, it doesn't. Matter. This ain't no library kit. <laughs> <laughs> well, what if he wants to check them out and see if there were good stories are in there or pictures or something? I'm gonna go to the library for that. Not this here. is the way the guy sold them to you. Is, is, is this something you need to know? <laughs> just sealed curious. <laughs> They're sealed in there. Sealed That's in plastic. Yeah, he sealed them up there 35 years ago. Uh, what well, there's pages like missing in there. That's I doubt it. I mean, if this guy took the time to do this, you know, I'm sure, hopefully, everything's intact. Sick magazine. You can't get this anywhere. This is yeah. kind of rare. Yeah. Like Dime a dozen. Okay. Yes. <laughs> you have to <laughs> actually buy and... Wait a minute. Why? What, do you have your piggy bank or something here? Don't you have any dollar bills? Anthony's a good customer. He doesn't hassle me. Sorry, <laughs> There you go. Oh, Don just walked in. What's up, Don? Don and Ed in one shot. You don't really get that. Anything new, Don? Is it? we got to talk loud over the music, otherwise we'll be flagged. What's going on? Yeah, I'm trying to make a dollar. Trying to make some money? Yeah, it is. Oh. I know that uh, Anthony's a big fan of Don's. Don, you want some cherry? Good. I'm trying to harbor right now. I'm the bacon. My dad in here. I got more no, no, you're banned. Get out of here. I'm not. You're well, I'm banned, about, but my dad ain't. About, you're talking about on the phone talkers cutting up people, life, stabbing people. But it's the reality of life. No, the reality of life isn't cutting up people and stabbing people and burying people and, and, and shelters. Stick, it is. And sticking them in bags. Shelter it is. I'll, I'll shelter you in a minute. Look, uh, people's head door. They stab people 38 times. They pull the head door. This is really uncomfortable. God was talking about shelter. That's why I said I don't think that's the best advice. Who the hell? You know, if you stand here all day and start talking about it, I will. I'm I, sorry. I, won't stab okay, you, I apologize. Stabbing people and cutting them up here. Now you know where I don't go. Now, well, John, I got a question for you. I want you to give me an honest answer. You ever kill anybody, Don? No. <laughs> he always laughs a little bit. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> He's not switching. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lick him, Don. Lick him. Lick the fat boy. Get out of here. Get out of here, fat boy. You, this guy. You, you eat more than all of us in here combined. Don, take this hammer. Get him in the belly. That's a, that's a steel plate. <laughs> I'm a romantic. What can I say? Get it. Yeah, What do I want to do? Get to cut him out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. What are you going to do when I lose 100 pounds? You're going to be kissing me? Oh, forget about it. You'll be mine. Just Don. Don. Kiss him. No, get, get out of here. Behind you. Do it. Kiss him. For the camera. Do it for the camera. Do it for the camera. Oh, my God. You got it? I don't know. I got it. It's not you. You didn't get that, did you? Now it's the big fellow's guy. Don't get away from me, you. Why? Yeah, what's all that jizz on your jacket? Oh my goodness. He was looking for, I his, he his he was looking for your books. Like all this, have a night. Books? Yeah. Well, I am happy to report that Joe got his badge back again for this Paul McCartney look alike Shea Stadium jacket. McCartney 65 jacket. McCartney 65 jacket is the way to, is the way to put it. Shea Stadium. Yes. Would you... Isn't that what I said? No. Shea Stadium jacket. Shea Stadium 65. That's what I said. Anyway, so uh, you, do you want to share any details with us at all? Or you... It's a legal matter. It's a legal matter. Okay, but you got it back. That's the main thing. Came clean. All right. Okay, big news here. Look at this. We got a Bill Cosby album in here. Bill Cosby talks to kids about drugs. Yeah, isn't <laughs> that funny? Look at that, huh? It's working well on women. Is that the, uh, I think that's, uh, and this is a price gouge. Talk about price gouging. $22 all of a sudden this is worth, huh? Wow. Jello brand pudding pops. Bill Cosby, every person I've ever known who developed a bad habit spent most of the rest of his life trying to, one, kick it, two, staying away from it, three, never using it forever. Maybe... 
you can identify with the smart people on this album because they know something about drugs. They love themselves, other people, and they don't want trouble. The time spent, the time spent <laughs> acquiring a drug, I can't do his voice, a drug habit cockroach, and uh, kicking it is time you could have used to educate yourself. A junkie never caused freedom for any people. Caused? Anyway, signed Bill Cosby. Anyway. This is a pretty amazing album there, Corey. Yeah, beautiful. I see Joe's uh, gouging the price yeah, up because yeah. of recent events. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to have a little lunch here. We're thinking of going to Jersey Mike's. They have sandwiches, subs, and uh, I got a little something for Anthony here. All right, there, I got a coupon, a free regular size sub. And no purchase necessary, Anthony. So, uh, I know this right up your alley. Thank you. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> no. Here you go, Anthony. Thank you very much. My treat. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't cost me, cost me anything. <laughs> You're all hot. Mm. Oh, no, I'm not. Uh, 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 Grandpa, there's lots of other junk in here. <laughs> Herman Munster joke for those who don't know. Mm. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs>